Welcome to Leeds Festival Marina. Uh, you just arrived on site. How? What, what are your first impressions? Just had some beef and mash. Have you? Well, how did you rate the festival food? Oh, really good actually. Mm. Better than what I have at home. <laughs> you a good cook? Um, I'm quite quite good but don't do it very often anyway it's just started raining here as soon as i arrived have you come prepared though uh yeah but i i basically had wellies yesterday and then um a fan nicked them and now i don't have anything to wear what would you do if you found that fan i'd probably just laugh and say well done can i have them back yeah (laughs) (laughs) because i need them (laughs) Um, well, you've obviously just arrived at Leeds. You played Reading Festival yesterday. How was Reading? Reading uh, was mental. Like the crowds were amazing. I've never played a really late show before, so it was eleven o'clock. We were the last band on in the festival, and the tent was uh, very, very crushed because it was like three thousand capacity, and there were about eight, nine thousand people in there. So, wow. how does that make you feel? Do you sort of have half I'm worried. worried? I was worried. I, I can't do my best like that when you see people right in front of you like f- like literally freaking out to the security guards saying get me out get me out I'm being crushed it was it was very different uh, experience to what I usually do but you know you adapt as a performer and it's my first headline show did you still enjoy it? if I'm honest no I, there, were, there were some bits that obviously I enjoyed but like I was so aware of everything happening <laughs> I suppose you just have to shut off but it's not very human, is it, when people are getting crushed? Ultimately, you're just too popular for your own kids. Oh, no. Everyone's just trying to hide from the rain to, like, <laughs> Marina and Diamonds is playing. <laughs> I'm sure not. Um, did you hear about Axel Rose, then? Because he played... An hour Dun- late. Yeah. And then um, they cut him off, and he stood on stage with a megaphone shouting at the audience. Uh, so, I just think that's juvenile. <laughs> I think it's really selfish to keep people waiting for an hour. Or actually, they did it because they said, if you're an hour late, you won't get paid. So they were 58 minutes late. Is that what you heard? Yeah. That's Come on, like, that's... Grow up, grow up. You're like, yeah, yeah. not king of the world.